Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're gonna be installing an exhaust, but first off, stop at the gas station, pop an open Monsty. Ooh, the strawberry lemonade, you know what's going on. Mm -mm. Feeling good, about to head to the shop. I will see you guys when we get there. All right guys, I'm headed to the shop. Um, about to go find some wood, find a jack, find some jack stands. It's my dad's shop and they work on like medium duty, like big trucks like that. So, you know, we're gonna have to make do with what we got. We got tools, but you know, they got like enormous jack stands. So I we'll had to find some smaller ones and stuff like that. But we're gonna get it underway. All good, I'm about to go and load the exhaust. All right boys, we in the new whip. We're riding around trying to find some, uh, some wood to roll my car off on. Cause you know, we got the low life. I should drift it. Oh, we got our wood. It should work. It looks pretty like it's tall enough. We'll see, but I'm about to drift this home. Where's this shit? One handed drift. All right, we've got the car up in the air. Well, I do. A um, couple safety jacks, and we got four corners. About to go ahead and open up the exhaust. Sorry, trying to get away from the noise. As you can see, we just dropped the exhaust out of the box because my dad thought there was another box, but really it was just kind of like cardboard. So I picked it up and it all fell out. So about to unwrap it. This is the front. Go to a little mid pipe. And then this is replaces the white pipe. Before y'all say anything about why'd you get a cheap exhaust on such a nice car it's a long story short but my gritty one was on back order and this one was cheap and i needed something and I honestly got it because it looked good um i just like the way that the mufflers look it looks like the fast intentions exhaust but over the winter i'll probably save up and get the gritty one and then sell this one this is just temporary this is completely temporary and i just needed something to like put back there so yeah all right guys, had to take a slight detour. Um, let me show you real quick. I needed a piece from my old muffler. This right here is essential. I need this for the hangers or whatever. I didn't start putting the exhaust on yet. We just went ahead, came out here and grabbed this before we started.
on. Connect it up right there. Make these two more hanger right up in there. And then we'll be ready for the tips. Alright guys, after that last clip y'all just saw, I went to edit the video and I realized I didn't have any flybys. Like, I need to put flybys in an exhaust video. Who doesn't do that? So, I'm gonna set y'all up over there. Got a nice, kinda empty road. And I'm gonna give some rips for y'all. I hope those few little flybys were good enough for y'all. Let's see what the exhaust looks like on the car real quick. This is what it looks like just on the car. Obviously, it's the Amuse bumper, so it might look a little bit different on your car. You know, the tips are more exposed on the Amuse bumper. That's what she looks like. Pretty nice. So my thoughts on the exhaust, um, I thought it was a little bit quiet. Uh, when I was doing the revs when we first put it on, it's very quiet. It sounds, it has a good tone, but... It's a little bit too quiet for me. I think I still want to upgrade mainly for the sound. I might take a couple of the resonators out, but honestly, after hearing the flybys, it sounded pretty great in my opinion. So if you're on a budget and you don't want a loud exhaust, even if you want like a loud exhaust, you could take the resonators, take it to a muffler shop and get the res a couple of resonators taken out. Um, it's honestly pretty decent. I mean, obviously you get what you pay for. It's Rev9, they're not like an expensive company. There were like dent, like little dinks in the exhaust, but for what it is, definitely, I'd say it was worth my money. You know, something temporary to hold me over because the car, you know, stock, there's no sound, but I wanted some sound in my car. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Follow me on Instagram at OOPZ34 for, for updates on unconditional. Also, just for pics of my car and just, you know, life updates and stuff like that. But besides that, Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.